and me attempting to, in some way or other, identify with this. It can't. You, the me can't identify with boundlessness. <coughs> it doesn't get it. Uh, the me can't identify with boundlessness, <coughs> with what is. It doesn't know how to. That's its dilemma. So it tries to, it tries to um, make up or, or recognise something in what is that it can relate to, and there isn't any. Uh, it's mean, totally impersonal. Yeah, you mean that's why these questions? Uh, some, a lot of them yeah. are about that. Yeah. Trying to find a way over the into another reality. Getting around and coming closer to it. <laughs> That's why these questions. Some of them. Yeah. The me's constantly trying to find what's wrong. There isn't anything wrong. Uh, yeah. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any place to land? No. <laughs> How could there be a place to land if this is all there is? Mm -hmm. Where would you where else would you land? Mm -hmm. Where are, out there would you land? If this is all the, already what is. That's what the me can't get. The me can't get that the, all there is is what is. Yes. yes. So it's constantly invested in the idea that there's something to do to find this. Whereas actually it's sitting on it. It's actually sitting on it. It's breathing it. It's hearing it. But it thinks it's somewhere else. And it thinks that when it's done something like become purified or being, being, become stiller or self-inquired or learn, then one day it will find it and that's the day. There's nothing to find. 